Hey y'all, B Dog Jr. back with you. I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I got a longer video for y'all tonight. Uh, it's a 40 question and answer thing uh, that I got tagged by uh, another YouTuber. I'll show you guys her channel. She's a pretty nice lady. I forgot to mention, uh, she's a pretty nice looking lady, too. Uh, nice Filipina girl. Welcome to my adventure! So y'all be sure and check out her channel. Uh, like I said, she's real nice and uh, she'll definitely check out your channel if you pay her some attention. And I'll show you the questions that uh, I have to answer. Get them in this notebook here. Let me get a little straight edge to put on there. Here you go. Okay, number one. Do you like blue cheese? And I wrote the answer already. That's a big no. <laughs> N-O. And not the dressing or the cheese. <laughs> so, number two. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Definitely Coke. I'll drink Pepsi if I can't get Coke, but uh, I'd rather have Coke. Whiskey, vodka, or tequila? Really, none of the above. Um, I mean, I've tried it all, but uh, I prefer, I'm more of a beer and wine guy. I'll show you what I like. This is the wine that I like. Uh, it's Carlo Rossi Paisano. And uh, it's basically the same thing as a Cabernet. And it's pretty strong. I think it's like 11.2% alcohol or... Hold on. Hold it. Actually, 12%. But uh, no problem. I'll show you guys how I drink it. I like to mix it up in my little cowbell here. And by cowbell, I mean... Um, Let me know if anybody recognizes that song there. Yeah, I'll mix it up with uh, probably 50-50 water and wine. So it's not too strong. And my other uh, favorite beverage is natu Natural Light. Uh, it's not too strong anyway. I'm not sure what the... Let me look at it. Hold on. I'll show you guys here. Yeah, it's 4.2 percent alcohol so that's not bad any of you guys ever tried the uh, non-alcoholic beers this is actually a pretty good one here I bought it by mistake uh, but I actually like it it's pretty expensive though I think it was like 850 for a six pack as a matter of fact I think I'll open this one up and have me a swig while I'm making my video. Throat's getting a little dry. <laughs> Hard Rock Cafe. 
I love the Hard Rock Cafe, man. They got some killer wings. Gotta try their uh, Chernobyl wings, I think they're called. Or Three Mile Island wings. Not sure which. Anyway, I make it a point not to drink and drive, and I usually don't have more than uh, two drinks a night, uh, which being one beer or two beers or one or two glasses of wine. Um, I guess I could drink as many of these as I want to. Although on Thanksgiving I had one, I brought the six-pack over to my sister's house, and I basically couldn't give any away to there was like two other guys there other than myself and nobody wanted one so I drank one because my throat was getting dry and it actually uh, is quite refreshing let me get back to the questions all right we left off with whiskey vodka or tequila now we're down to number four hot dog or cheeseburger and that would have to be cheeseburger for me Favorite food? I'll show you guys. Here we go. Lean stew meat. Always check the expiration date. Make sure you get a new one. It's beef. <laughs> I like some... Poblano peppers, uh, red peppers or green peppers, yellow peppers, jalapeno peppers, onion. And most importantly, mushrooms. I get these already pre-sliced. They're pre-washed and pre-sliced. And I always uh, fry them up in the pan nowadays. I used to be a big barbecuer, but I don't do too much grilling these days. It's just me living here. Okay, moving on down the line here, number six. What do you drink in the a.m.? Well, I got my cup that I put it in here. <laughs> One of my cups. And I used to like uh, strong black coffee. I still like it uh, black and strong. Like this. Some stuff that I just found actually comes from Italy. But I mix it uh, like three ways now because um, I got some couple of decafs that I like. This here, Pete's, is a good decaf. So I mix it three ways, 33% uh, of each one with the Gavaglia. Because uh, when, you, when you just brew them by theirself, they taste too much like a decaf. But when you mix them all three together, it's actually pretty good. Number seven, what's my favorite perfume? I'm not sure if they mean uh, what I put on myself or what I prefer to smell on women. As far as uh, women's perfume, I just like the scent of a woman. And this is what I wear uh, whenever I put any cologne on or perfume, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's good stuff. My favorite season, number eight. That's winter. Living here in Florida, we don't get much of a winter, so uh, I like it. It uh, used to be summertime. I used to be a surfer, so it was better for surfing in the summertime. Oh, no. He's got old pictures out. <laughs> Porky pig. That was actually a custom-made surfboard that uh, somebody traded in and the porky pig put on there 
I think he was a pro surfer. And this is not a pro. That's me trying to keep from falling off my surfboard. You can see my board in the foam there. <laughs> Here I am again. I had some of my favorite surf shorts on there. <laughs> kind of remind me of the Coca-Cola logo with the stripe on the side. Favorite hobby? Uh, that's a tough one. I've got a lot of hobbies. I guess airplanes, aviation, was my first hobby. Because my dad was in the Navy and he worked on airplanes. And I was kind of fascinated with that. I remember him taking me to work with him a few times when I was little. And I got to see the uh, helicopters and the airplanes and all the fun stuff that they did out there at the Navy base. And they were eating a lot of boiled peanuts. It's pretty exciting, doesn't it? Yeah, I would have loved to have been able to fly something like that. Uh, I was actually, uh, I never did uh, get a college degree in time to uh, be able to uh, fly Navy jets, fighter jets. So I found out you could actually fly helicopters in the Army without a four-year college degree. And yeah, that's what I wound up doing. There's me in flight school doing my uh, solo flight in a Huey UH-1. I think it was an H model. Might have been a November model Huey helicopter. That's a Vietnam era helicopter. Uh, actually still in use today by a lot of countries. And I think the Marine Corps has a, a newer model of it. Uh, twin engine model. Here's my solo certificate. Greyhounds. <laughs> Leave the flying to us. That was my stick name. Wombat. My uh, flying career didn't last very long. I um, had problems, uh, deficiencies, should I say, in... Uh, navigation, uh, low-level terrain flight nav, so the Army turned me into a helicopter mechanic. And then I, I got out of the Army and um, started working as an aircraft mechanic, doing overhauls and maintenance on civilian helicopters. Guitars is another hobby of mine. Um, I'm probably more of a guitar collector than I am a player. Uh, I'm not the best player. Uh, I try. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that. My uncle gave me a, uh, a gigantic box guitar when I was uh, about seven or eight years old, I think. And um, it was just way big for me, but eventually I uh, bought another guitar, and another one, and another one. I just kept buying guitars. I think I have like 10 guitars now. But uh, this is my prized possession here, uh, my 2001 Epiphone Firebird. And uh, I kind of... It's a little harder to play than my other guitars are, but uh, I have fun with it, and it's got some nice tones. Here I am trying to get the uh, tone right on it, messing around with the pickups. Get the selector there. Guns are another one of my hobbies that uh, my dad got me involved in at an early age. 
That's my uh, Taurus PT-92 9mm pistol. This is actually one that I inherited from my dad. It's a 1911 45 caliber pistol. And this one, I have a Crimson Trace laser that I installed. I wanted some wood grips for it. And uh, I saw these Crimson Traces were on clearance on their website. See that laser in there? 